I don't really see the boundaries between departments or institutes. I've followed my interest and I followed what intrigued me and that brought me to where I am now. I've been always intrigued by the interface of biology and technology and this is a perfect place where this now comes together. Our research focuses on joint regeneration, so the healing of diseased and damaged joints. And we use 3D printing technology to create living uh, joint replacements. We develop specific biomaterials that on one hand have the physical properties to be printed and on the other hand provide a surrounding, an environment for the cells in which they can deposit their specific regenerative matrix. A regenerative matrix is a surrounding that provides the cells with the right cues uh, to make its specific tissue type. In our case, it's cartilage or bone. Normal 3D printing processes involve uh, high temperatures. So we had to redesign the 3D printing process to be able to deposit living cells with this technology. The biomaterials that we use are often uh, based on hydrogels. So we call that our bio-ink, the hydrogel with the living cells. We incorporate fibers of different materials, so of degradable, biodegradable plastics, like reinforced concrete. In order to, to create these personalized implants, we've here in Utrecht brought together a multidisciplinary team, which consists out of stem cell biologists and material scientists, as well as engineers and um, imaging experts, and as well as the clinical application within the veterinary and the human hospital. New technology is easier to translate to the veterinary clinic, and we can learn a lot from the tissue structures, the tissue compositions, and how they react onto disease and loads. So for us, the patient population is actually the horses as well as the human patient. And that's where we take advantage of the One Health, One Medicine vision here on the campus uh, to bring these, uh, these fields together. In Utrecht there is a, a group of people brought together of multiple disciplines and the interaction is very easy. We work together with scientists that work on kidney regeneration or liver regeneration and even with cancer invasion models which we can recreate in 3D with their specific cell type. My hope for the future is that we can really help patients with these regenerative implants. But we can also use that technology to create little pieces of tissue on which we can test the toxicity or efficacy of drugs to reduce animal experimentation. The bit of my job that I enjoy most is to go to work every day and work with these extremely smart people on the edge of what's possible.